Melanie D'Souza is my name and I'm the Executive Director Destination Marketing for the Royal Commission for Alula. Melanie, thank you for joining Breaking Travel News here at Arabian Travel Market in Dubai. It's great to see you again. First of all, I'd love to just get a, 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 an update uh, on all things Alula. Well, um, for us, an exciting time in terms of um, our journey. We launched this year for the first time ever our global brand campaign, Forever Revitalizing which um, targets nine markets, very specific audience segments within those nine markets. And it's really us talking in our own voice to position this boutique luxury destination that we have with so much on offer in the space of heritage, culture, um, and programming in the arts and creative industry space in adventure and across our events and festivals that is really, I think, taking the world by storm. It certainly is, and for those of us that have yet to see that campaign or perhaps know a little bit more about it, bring it to life for us. It's actually quite different from your standard tourism marketing campaign. It's not just a smorgasbord of here are the things you can see and do. It's premised at its core on sustainability, and it's certainly our promise to um, the customer. This is about a destination that um, is all about considered, thoughtful master planning, it's premised on only ever having 2 million tourists by 2035, so um, never going to be in a scenario where we're putting our um, visitors through jostling to get to um, you know, the right kind of position to take that shot or that Instagram photo. Um, it's very much about the community at the heart of everything we do, so it's about upskilling locals, um, ensuring the revival of traditional arts and crafts, and making sure that the locals are the beneficiaries of the tourism endeavor. And I look at our stunning natural landscapes and the work that's going in in the space of conservation um, and restoration of these vast tracts of land with regeneration of flora and fauna from yesteryear. The ultimate desire being at some point to reintroduce the Arabian leopard. So sustainability very much at the core of the theme of the campaign. But if I think about this as a brand, it's as much a rally cry to staff. It reminds us of why we get up in the morning to go about this very privileged job that we have in terms of either operating or marketing this destination. Um, and you know, it's also um, our kind of um, ethos in terms of the partners we select, whether that's hotels or anybody that is a potential investor. We want to work with like-minded people who are about joining with us to preserve and celebrate our heritage, but also build on and embellish what we leave for generations to come. Tell us about some of those partnerships. Well, you know, two of our hotels are Habitas and Banyan Tree, and both of them are very different in their ideology. Habitas is very much about, um, you know, communities coming together that are like-minded, that celebrate music and wellness. But at the core of their whole built environment, it's all about sustainability, it's about celebrating local materials, um, it's about uh, celebrating the culture. Um, and Banyan Tree, both of them of course share that wonderful location in Ashar Valley which is a stunning um, part and real estate of Alula with the canyon there. But Banyan Tree is more about seclusion and romance but again low rise, tented accommodation, blending seamlessly into the environment and again very much in terms of use of resources and water, all very much about sustainability in, the, in their thinking. And someone arrives in Alula, give us a sense of, of what they can expect and what can they experience when they arrive? Well, first off, you arrive at this international airport that we are actually very soon outgrowing and that we just decided <laughs> needs to have updated plans so we can cater. We're talking now of growing from capacity to, from 400 million uh, throughput in a year to 6 million passengers. Um, it's an international airport that um, welcomes the likes of Qatar Airways out of Doha, Fly Dubai out of Dubai, and Seasonal Connects out of Paris, Bahrain, Cairo and Amman. Um, you have people who greet you with coffee and dates. What is more Saudi than that in terms of welcome? And I do believe having lived um, in this country now for four years, there is genuinely such a natural, authentic warmth to that welcome of the lo from the locals. There's a pride in being able to showcase their homeland and it comes through from every touch point um, with them. 
Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, what's breathtaking is just the physicality of this destination. So you get into your car, and I think, speaking certainly as somebody who visited for the first time a little over four years ago, it's this 900 million years of geology that you kind of notice. Um, you know, we have rocks that are named everything from elephant rock to face rock to arch rock to dancing rocks because Mother Nature has done her miraculous, um, you know, uh, trick of through the elements carving out these magnificent, um, you know, sculptures. exactly. And they stand juxtaposed to this green that runs like a, you know, a central spine through the county. It's nine kilometers of oasis. And we always have to remind ourselves that Alula, as a heritage destination, draws so much of its roots from the fact that it was, at its core, a place plentiful with water and resources. So it was that stopping point on the caravan route. And it wasn't just spices and commodities that were traded, it was languages and culture. And, um, you know, in a place like Jabal Ikma, you have carved in rock these amazing petroglyphs and inscriptions of everything from you know war scenes to hunting scenes to animals that no longer inhabit the planet and it's a reminder of these centuries of you know the centuries over which civilizations have called it home not the least of which of course the Nabataeans who um, have left us these 110 beautifully preserved tombs people tend to know about it in the context of a civilization from Petra, you know, monuments like the treasury. What the world doesn't know much about is the ancient kingdoms of Dadan um, and the Leonite kingdoms, which are 9th century BCE. So, so much heritage. And then I, I think if you think of experiences that the visitor can do while they stay, everything from hikes and trails to, you know, um, zip lines and giant swings, and our arts offering is really blossoming. You know, we have Desert X on at the moment with, um, in partnership with Coachella out of California. It's all about creative expression inspired by the landscape and the desert. And that will be a forerunner to Wadi Al Fan, which literally translates to Valley of the Arts, and is going to have some of the, you know, the world's biggest names in artistic creative expression, names like James Terrell and Agnes Dean and Emmett Mata, you know, so, um, so much happening from a programming perspective. Not to mention what is this year-round Alula Moments Festival and Events Calendar, which celebrates music and the skies. So we have ballooning, of course, year-round now and stargazing, which is so stunning. I don't know if you did that when you visited, but just so much in terms of a variety of things that kind of correspond to people's passion points. I, you're floating me back there right now. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, so here we are in Dubai, um, and you have this wonderful stand here giving people a taste and flavor of Alula. So what's been the reaction in the market? You know, we're quietly very enthused about um, the feedback from travel partners. Uh, we're very enthused with the kind of increased airlift that we've been able to um, attract from some of our key airline partners and the media around the world you know before we actually spent um, on a paid media campaign with forever revitalizing we've really built a brand through what has been such amazing support from really well credentialed media around the world and people these days in digital and social who have followings and who are respected for being authorities on subject matters and I think you've been able to do that because you've done everything with integrity and with authority and you know in social media there's nowhere to hide <laughs> yeah social media is pretty punishing it can be punishing but I think if there's one thing in Alula where um, the brand promise is premised on authenticity so there's proof points for everything we say we are and as I just referenced you know for three years we didn't really go beating our chests about who we are we had others do it for us and even when we are standing up now to make a point about Alula's brand and the kind of aspiration that we have for our visitor, it's premised on, you know, things that we are really considered about and I think can back up in terms of the proof points. 
listen, I really appreciate you sharing um, all of this with us at, at Breaking Travel News. What a fantastic story and good luck and congratulations on building an incredible brand and an incredible destination. Thank you, Justin. It means a lot. <laughs> Thank you.